Oh God, is it recording? And the weirdest thing happened just now. I, I posted this question and for like the first 12 minutes, it was just my face cam without the share screen. It was so tragic. I had to restart this video again. So I'm very bothered. Anyways, uh, this is 22, 23, Sem 1. So apparently this is last semester. Let's start. So determine the number of no the number of nodes including ground. Okay, let's just let's just dive right in. So number of nodes including ground. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so there are six nodes. So this answer is six. Uh, the number of meshes, so meshes is even easier to spot. So there's one mesh and this is two mesh. So we have two meshes. Considering the presence of sources, determine the independent nodes. OK, so for independent node voltages, the formula that works is N minus M minus one. So what's N? N is the number of node voltages that you counted. So basically this. Just that direct number that you counted. So six is N. So this is six. Now what is M? M is the number of voltage sources. So let's count how many voltage sources we have. We have one, two, two voltage sources. And what does this one refer to? This one refers to the ground, okay? Because it is a, a voltage value. So we can eliminate it. So minus one. So do the math, this is three. Now, independent meshes, we use the formula N minus M. So N is the number of meshes that we counted. Basically, it's this number two that we counted here. And M is the number of current sources. So how many current sources are there? There's only one of them. So that's just one. So two minus one, and we have one. OK, so write the minimum set of equations in symbolic uh, expressions using no voltage method. So I'm kind of lazy to do this symbolically. I'm going to straight away sub in values wherever I can. Um, yeah, but of course in the exams, please follow the instruction. Then you substitute it in subsequent questions. Okay, so let us begin. So the answer to do no voltage method, right? Remember that this is counterintuitive. If you want to do no voltage method, you got to use Kirchhoff's current law. Okay, it's always counterintuitive. You want to find voltage, you use the current law. You want to find a uh, current, you use the no voltage law. I mean, current voltage law. Okay, so let's dive right in. Okay. Before we even start doing all the KCL, yeah, doing all the KCLs, first we need to identify uh, the, the known no voltages. So that it eliminates our, it reduces, it simplifies our process. So what do I mean? For example, do we know the value of this node? Yes, it's zero because it's ground. Okay. Now, what about this one? You see, this voltage source says that the two ends of it have a difference of 10 volts. More specifically, you have to take care of the direction. So what do I mean? See this plus, it indicates a higher potential. This minus indicates a lower potential. So that means this, because it's connected to the negative side, this means that This node is 10 volts lower than this node because it's connected to the positive terminal, the higher potential terminal. OK, so. That means if this is zero and the difference here is 10 volts, then down here, since it's lower, it will be lower by 10 volts. So zero minus 10 is negative 10. So this is the value of this volt, uh, this no voltage. Now, there's nothing else we can identify. So let us go ahead and label our uh, other node voltages. So I label this, 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 and this. So this is VA, VB, VC, and VD. Now, take note that VB can be extended like this. OK, why? Because you ask yourself, why is that whole thing a node? OK, just ask yourself, no device, no device. No device. So since there's no device throughout, that whole segment can be considered as a single node. Okay. So yeah. Let's 
quickly begin. So KCL at A. So what does KCL means? You take currents going in and then you equate it to, sorry, currents going in and then you equate it to currents going up. So who are the currents going into this node? See, we have the this uh, current going in two amperes. Now, we don't know the, the direction of this current. So just assume it moves out. Okay, so assume it moves out this way. And then, okay, let us start our TCL. So current going in is the two amperes. Current moving out, we need to express the current moving out with delta V over R, where delta V is V start minus Vn, okay? So who start, who's the end? See, the current starts from here and ends at Vb. So Va minus Vb, Va minus Vb, divided by the resistance that it goes through. So remember, this question asks for symbolic expressions. So in the, in the exams, you write R1, whereas I'm lazy, so I'll write 10 ohms. Okay. So you simplify this, you should get VA minus VB equals to 20. Okay. Uh, I forgot to take note. Okay. So a, re a reminder, see, we have four unknowns, VA, VB, VC, and VD. So we're expecting four equations. Okay. That's how we can solve the system of equations. Okay. So next we want to find KCL at B. So KCL at B. So let's clear things out. So again, we don't know the directions of these currents, these currents, this current, just assume it moves out. So see, move out, move out, move out. OK. So who are the currents going in? No one. So we write 0 equals to who are the currents going out? So the currents going out is this V star minus Vn. So Vb minus Va, Vb minus Va divided by the resistance, 10 ohms, plus who else goes out? Here, V start minus Vn, okay, it ends at here. See, negative 10, okay, it ends at negative 10. So V start minus Vn is Vb minus negative 10, okay? Minus negative 10, don't forget. V, B minus, negative 10 divided by 10. Okay, uh, next we have, what, who else? So V start minus Vn, so Vb minus Vc divided by 10. So Vb minus Vc divided by 10. Okay, so you simplify this. So where's my working? Sorry. You simplify this, dot, dot, dot. You should get VA minus 3 VB plus VC equals to 10. And this will be your equation 2. Okay, I'm going to stop the video here because I'm going to truncate this video because I'm afraid there will be a technical error later. So excuse me.